find a lot of art activities for them that um, we felt were allowing them to be creative. Not we, we didn't really want art schools that were too much structural. We wanted to create creative arts. So we decided to open one. Oh wow, that's fantastic. So it's just been two weeks that you've been here. So what has been the response so far? So far great. We have um, our first fully booked class this Saturday which is tomorrow, the cartooning for kids. So we're excited about that. Um, and just getting the community more involved and talking today, we're gonna to be at Eat the Street Chocolate, which is across the street, um, handing out flyers, talking about our opening and yeah, letting people know we're here. So what, what, what should folks do if they wanna come and be a part of your classes uh, and how much do they cost? Okay, well, our classes range from $25 for two hours up to $45. We have series classes that, you know, acrylic classes for adults also where you can take four classes and um, it's like $199. But um, you can visit our Facebook page. We have um, also our, our website, which is the artlifehigh.com and find out and look up all the classes and you'll see everything there for kids, adults, all kinds of. Oh, that's fantastic. We have a few more minutes, so maybe you could talk a little bit. You mentioned the powwow. I know that the the new stuff, I guess, has come up. The things have yeah. wrapped up. But what was that experience like? And, and exciting. Very exciting, especially since we... Um, we just, our office is right above there, so we have a view of all the people walking around and watching the murals go up was so exciting. And um, it wasn't until we started noticing a lot of tourists and people from Hawaii locals, you know, congregating in our parking lot, asking about the murals that we decided, hey, you know, we should create a walk within Kakoako, sorry, Kakoako explaining what they are. So, so it was exciting. So did you get a chance to sort of talk to some of the artists and find out about what some of these murals are all about? I know I'm interested to know. I know. They were so busy, though. They only had a certain amount of time. So what we are going to do, is, there's a Lana Lane there where all the artists were conspiring. And I guess what they do is they leave information about what that is. And on their website, Powwow Hawaii obviously has information. So we're gathering that info now, talking with them to create our own, our own tour. So what, it, I, I, what, is it, what do you think it means or what does it mean to you for all of these artists to be coming from all over the world to gather here and, and, and put up these murals and do a powwow? I think it's refreshing, especially for Hawaii's art scene. We haven't really been known for art or cultural arts. I mean, we have been known for our Hawaiian cultural arts, um, but not so much art and graffiti and, and this type of art in, 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 in Hawaii. And, and now more so you find a lot of people visiting from overseas to see what types of um, art is available in, in, in Honolulu specifically. And more importantly, they're more interested in Hawaiian cultural arts. So now even at the art loft, we're doing Hawaiian like tea leaf banana art. We're doing um, kalo charcoal printing. So it's made basically by demand that more and more people find out Hawaii is into the art scene. They're starting to, we're starting to create locals are starting to create right. So we start creating more classes and and again a lot of it into Hawaiian culture. People want to know about you know how to make ipus and they, they're interested. So we're going to provide it. Oh well, I think that is fantastic. I guess I'll also ask that you know there's so much building happening here, so many big condos, so many of the art walks. Everything is trying to seem for it for the young and the hip yet. I don't know if it's really truly affordable for you know the young and the hip and the starving artists to actually live here and participate. What do you, how do you feel about that? Yeah, well, we agree, and that's why we try to keep our prices down. You know, twenty-five dollars for two hours. And again, and I agree, but we're working a lot with students and schools as well to provide scholarships for so that children who can't afford to do art or you know now education, especially in public schools, they no longer have the budgets for art. Yeah. So we'd be working with them to provide um, classes for children in schools and even um, preschoolers, you know, getting parents just to come and check it out, you know, charge a really low rate just for the kids to start liking art. Because right. once you got them hooked, right, hopefully they'll like long be uh, long life customers. So, Well, I think that's fantastic. Thank you so much for speaking with us You're today welcome. and the best of luck to this new business and everybody please come to Kaka Ako and support the Art Loft. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>